Hello, good evening and welcome to our new German lesson. Today we will try together to put our German thoughts into real sentences. So we will translate some sentences from uh, English into German and we will pay attention to everything. Sentences are short so we can concentrate well and we can learn them all. Let's get started. Okay, so let's learn German. How long does it take? How long does it take? We are translating sentences into German. So, how long does, we don't need, we don't have helping verb here in German. We are going straight to take. Actually, it's like the verb last. How long does it last? And to last is dauen. Dauen. So, wie lange dauert, third person singular, dauert, and it, we can translate with S. So, as you can see, we have this how long, and that's wie lange, we don't have does. In German, we go straight to the verb, and it's dauern, third person singular, dauert, and S is it. So, wie lange dauert S? One word less than in English. Um, how long does it take? Five words. Wie lange dauert S? Four words in German. Because we don't need auxiliary helping verb in presence. Okay. She annoys her brother, number two. She annoys her brother. For annoy, we can use the verb ergen. And now we have to put it in the third person singular because it's she. And she is Z. And third person singular is always with ending T. Erget. Erget. The erget. Who does she annoy? So, her brother here in this sentence, and in German sentence, is an direct object. So, she annoys who? Whom? Her brother. And direct object in German is in accusative case. An accusative case is um, easier than dative case, because in accusative case, we change only there, only... Um, masculine um, articles, uh, definite or indefinite articles. So, uh, her or the brother would be der Bruder. So, if I want to say she annoys the brother, I would say the er get den Bruder. So, der becomes den in accusative case. But if we want to say her brother, her brother in nominative case is ihr Bruder. And again with N would be ihren Bruder. So as you can see, this N ending N is characteristic for accusative case for masculine nouns. So the er get, who does she annoy? Ihren Bruder, den Bruder. And ihr means her. Okay. And how would, would you say he annoys his brother or he annoys his sister? So if it is er, he, er get, it would be seinen Bruder. So if something's, something belongs to, to him, then it's sein. And something belongs to her, then it's er. Don't mix these things because you see Z is she but sein seine seinen it's not her hers it's his so er und sein Z und er okay uh, number four yes I understand that yeah ich verstehe das. Ja, ich verstehe das. I understand. Ich verstehe. 
And how would we ask? Do you understand? So do you understand? Here again, we ask a question with auxiliary verb do and the main verb understand. In German, in present, we don't need do. We, we go straight to the main verb and we put it at the beginning of the sentence. So do you understand would actually be understand you. Verstehst du? Understand you? Verstehst du? Yes, I understand that. Yeah, I verstehe. Verstehe das. Next one. Uh, that's not nice of you. And that would be that's, that is, das ist. Not, nicht, nice, net, of, von, you, der. Here this der is dative because the preposition von triggers dative. So after von we use dative case. Uh, dative von uh, you, von du is der. In English it doesn't change. Um, you are nice, that's not nice of you. I want to talk to you. It's always you. <laughs> but in German, we change this uh, personal pronoun, du. In dich, in accusative case, I see you, ich sehe dich. And in dir, in dative case. Das ist nicht net von dir, von plus dative, von dir. Uh, do you have any questions? The next one. Again, do you have? So we just say, have you any questions? We can say like, noch. Hast du noch Fragen? Oder weitere Fragen? Or einige Fragen? Any would be maybe einige Fragen. Do we have any more questions? Hast du noch Fragen? So, hast du, have you? Thomas looks out. Of the window, out the window. Thomas looks, sieht, durch, out, the window, das Fenster. It's easy because durch, the preposition durch, uh, triggers accusative case. But in the case of das Fenster, in the case of um, neutral nouns, das doesn't change. Like der, der changes into den in accusative case, but the and das, they remain the same. So das Fenster ist groß, Thomas sieht durch das Fenster. Accusative case, das doesn't change. So er sieht durch das Fenster. Um, the verb is sehen. And it's irregular, so we say, ich sehe, uh, but du siehst, er sieht, we have this change, e becomes e. Ich sehe, e, sehe, du siehst. And we read this like this, e. We don't say a or i, just e. Thomas sieht durch das Fenster. My car is back there. Is the dot there? Is back there? Maybe it's um, hinta. Is back hinta dem Haus or the hinta the garage? Hinta it means it means behind. Or the dot there. Mine auto is dot. I spend a lot of money on vacation. Ich gebe viel Geld im Urlaub aus. So ausgeben is the complete verb. Ausgeben is to spend money. Ausgeben. But it has this aus, it's a prefix, and it goes 
separately. So it goes like uh, at the end of the sentence. And gebe is the main verb here. And we change it into ich gebe, du gibst, der gibt, Geld aus. Im Urlaub, it means on vacation. It's dative from der Urlaub. It's masculine noun. Der Urlaub, it changes into in dem and then in im. So, ich gebe viel Geld im Urlaub aus. He has been working here for 30 years. Uh, in this case, for 30 years, so in, in English we, we need to use this past perf uh, present perfect or present perfect continuous. In German, we use simply present. So we say, er has been working, just arbeitet. <laughs> Here, yeah, for 30 years, seit 30 Jahren. Er arbeitet here. It's like he's working here. He works here. Seit 30 Jahren for 30 years. So just presence. Er arbeitet hier seit 30 Jahren. We will come to you tomorrow evening. We will come to your place to visit you to your place tomorrow evening. We are coming to dir. We are coming morgen Abend to dir. We are coming morgen Abend to dir. To you, zu, plus, plus dative case, dir. Will you give me your bike? Willst du mir dein Fahrrad geben? Will you, willst du mir mir? Your bike, dein Fahrrad, geben. So, don't put geben here. Will you give? Wirst du geben? Nein, we have to put the main verb in future tense at the end of the sentence. And here we have helping auxiliary werden that we use for future tense. Second person singular. Wirst du, wirst, wirst du mir dein Fahrrad geben? I'll wait here until he comes. Ich werde hier warten, bis er kommt. It's similar. I will wait here. Ich werde hier warten, until he comes, bis er kommt. So, until is this. I ask for your understanding. Ich bitte um deine understanding verständnis. Ich bitte um deine verständnis. Ich bitte um. I ask for. Bitten um. I will soon work as a teacher. Ich werde bald als Lehrer arbeiten. Verb at the end. Ich werde, I will, bald, soon, as a teacher, als Lehrer, work, arbeiten. Ich werde bald als Lehrer arbeiten. I work and you stay at home. Ich arbeite, du bleibst zu Hause. Ich arbeite, du bleibst zu Hause. Ich bleibe, du bleibst. Second person singular, bleibst. Arbeite, first person singular. Ich arbeite, du bleibst zu Hause. You're not allowed to smoke in the restaurant. Man darf nicht kann. Man darf im Restaurant nicht rauchen. It's not allowed. Dürfen. Man darf im Restaurant nicht rauchen. The child goes to bed. He's tired or she's tired. In German it's S, neuter, das Kind. In Svet, es ist müde, das Kind, neuter, das Kind. 
Das Kind geht ins Bett. Das Kind ist müde. Es ist müde. Wohin geht das Kind? Ins Bett. This is accusative case. Das Bett and das Bett remain. Das Bett in accusative case. In das. Ins. The child sees himself in the mirror. Das Kind sieht sich im Spiegel. Das Kind sieht sich im Spiegel. The interview case from der Spiegel is a, a masculine noun. Der Spiegel in dem Spiegel, im Spiegel. Das Kind sieht sich im Spiegel. There's a glass on the table. Es gibt ein Glas auf dem Tisch. There is a gift. A glass, a glass, a glass on the table of dem Tisch. Tisch is der Tisch. This is the native case of dem Tisch. Wo steht ein Glas auf dem Tisch? Es gibt ein Glas auf dem Tisch. She makes coffee for me. Für mich. Sie macht einen Kaffee für mich. Here, coffee is in uh, accusative case. Was macht sie? Is the object of the sentence. Kaffee is der Kaffee. So it has N in accusative case. Sie macht einen Kaffee. Für wen? Uh, für mich. Who does she make coffee for? Für mich. Mich is also accusative case. From the personal pronoun, I, ich. Mich, ich, mich, für mich. Today is my birthday too. Geburtstag. Geburtstag. Der Geburtstag. Heute habe ich auch Geburtstag. Today have I also birthday. Heute habe ich auch Geburtstag. The picture is hanging on the wall. And der Wand, dative case, from die Wand is the wall, die Wand in dative is der Wand. Das Bild, the picture, is hanging, hanged on the wall, an der Wall, uh, an der Wand. I'm trying to understand. Ich versuche, dich zu verstehen. Ich versuche, I'm trying, um, you to understand, dich zu verstehen. Ich versuche, dich zu verstehen. Today, I'm going to my neighbor's house. If it is a male neighbor, we will say to my name, Nachbarn. If it is female, to my Nachbarin. Heute gehe ich zu, plus dative case, masculine is with M, meinem Nachbarn, a feminine is with R, meiner Nachbarin. Heute gehe ich zu meinem Nachbarn und meiner Nachbarin. And it's too cold for a party in the garden. Es ist zu kalt für die Party im Garten. Der Garten ist masculine, in dative ist in dem Garten. Es ist zu kalt, it's too cold for a party, für die Party, oder we can say also für eine Party, a party, in the garden, im Garten. And we will stop here and we will continue next time. Tschüss.